Leslie, fancy pants. Did you even consider the everyday box? No, what, are you kidding me? So what are you making? I'm just making Kobe beef, pork chop, and the ahi tuna. A trio of proteins, and I got a pea puree. Did you taste this? Yes, I'm working on it. It needs everything. And yes. Including yes. love. Okay. What's there? Parsnips with truffle. Are the truffles in there already? Uh, yeah. Now you're talking my language. Great truffles. The problem with your food is you have not seasoned anything. You guys cannot even decide what truffle flavor tastes like unless you put salt in it. I, I, I did put salt in it. You, you did not see put the any salt in it. You Do can't you tell me you're making it. I, no. I put salt in there. There is no salt, salt in here. In there. I put no a little in, in there. I'm not. It's not seasoned. Leslie, fancy pants. Did you even consider the everyday box? Come on. No, what are you kidding me? Are the truffles in there already? Uh, yeah. Now you're talking my language. Great truffles. You have not seasoned anything. You guys cannot even decide what truffle flavor tastes like unless you put salt in it. I, I, I did put salt there in there. No salt salt there is no salt in here. There's no salt in there. I'm not, it's not seasoned. I, I put a little at a time. What happens if I put too much salt in and then it's too salty? Good luck. I'm trying. The third dish we want to look at. This home cook opted for the luxury box. And in this case, the risk paid off. Please step forward. Leslie. Boom, my name's called. I'm walking up, and I don't want to pat myself on the back just yet. But I just might have this here. Describe the dish, please. You got a trio of protein here, the pork chop, the uh, Kobe beef, and you have the ahi tuna. They've all been seared on a griddle. You're the only person out of everybody tonight that had the balls to say, I'm going to go for all three. Uh, right, describe the tuna. It's just marinated in a little soy sauce with a touch of balsamic vinegar and some salt. Slightly warm in the center. Uh, perfect. Kobe beef? Kobe beef, just salt and pepper, and then the Stilton cheese and the caviar, just to make it look rich. And the pork was just salt and pepper and uh, just seared. Mm. Uh, here's the thing. You're not a fluke. Let's get that right. Brilliant dish. For me, the best dish that you've cooked so far in this competition. And I'm just so glad it's tonight because you've picked the perfect moment. Thank you. Tell me about the pea puree. It just has some salt, pepper, some of the cheese. It's good. You can taste the freshness, the greenness of the peas. The Kobe loved the idea of putting Stilton on it. It's a classic, but it's a classic because it's delicious. And where do you put the truffles where? In the parsnip puree. Oh, it's delicious. I was angry when I was at your bench because I tasted some good food that had not been seasoned at all. But this is seasoned perfectly, so good job. Let's leave it at that. Don't answer. Great dish. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Well done. Good job.